Hey guys, Hattie Cannon again. Thank you so much for following along and welcome back to my channel. New videos every Thursday, so don't forget to like and subscribe. So we are almost two weeks post show. I feel so good. Like I'm actually quite stoked on the, everyone has post show blues. A lot of people do, like it's very common to get post show blues, to get, um, you know, just like kind of like, where's your direction, eating everything in sight. Um, I feel actually pretty good. I. I definitely had fun. I did not have fun on the Sunday. I had a lot of fun right after the show. And <laughs> I've had a few nights with my girlfriend being here. Um, we did definitely had some drinks, but I haven't gone home wild like normal. Um, so I'm actually really proud of myself like that. So yeah, and I feel good. My car feel good. Anyway, but give me some informative information and fun stuff. So I want to go over comparisons because I got my comparison video back or sorry, um, my photos today. And I also just do like posing with my clients and stuff. Um, there's so many things that I, even myself, I'm like, damn it, Heidi, why'd you do that? So it's this is why I created this channel, so that my dumb mistakes, you guys don't have to make. So <laughs> um, let's go over comparisons. Okay, so comparisons are when everyone is lined up, if you guys don't know, and it's your first time watching and like what you're getting into. So this is where you're lined up where every other competitor is right beside you and you're gonna go over a front pose, a side pose, a back pose, and a front pose. So this is where you're judged like, oh, her booty looks like this against her booty, right? So picking and having a coach to help you determine um, the best poses for you, especially going forward. You know, I always tell my girls too that like, Let's just pretend a front pose, this pose, whatever, okay, um, looks a certain way when you're 12 weeks out. Well, when you get dieted down and you get close to show, this pose, this pose, well, this might not be very good for you. So having, you know, it's always kind of switching up certain poses, especially in the last little bit, that's going to help uh, bring your best physique to stage and like posing for that. All right, guys, you're getting the feet, uh, feet uh, video here. Woo! Don't uh, get too excited. Okay, so for comparison, as you can see on my tile floor, this is why I made it on the ground here. Uh, this seat is a little square. That's right. So when you're in your comparisons, I can't suggest it enough. When you're turning quarter turn to the right, quarter turn to the back, you want to stay within this square. You don't need to move outside of it. That's when your poses get really too big and weird and everything else. So keeping within that box is so key if you're posing. Um, and it's good for any federation, uh, especially if you're doing IFBB. Um, their posing is definitely very small, very tight. So again, hiring a coach that knows how to pose you, especially with your comparison, is key. So we're gonna head back up to the top of me so you can not see just my feet. <laughs> so I hope you understand that and I hope that helps you guys with your comparisons. Try and keep within that box. In life, get out of the box, but in comparison, get in the box. So a big mistake that I did, I'll just share with you guys. Um, for my back pose, I usually like to do, I like this pose um, a lot for back because I feel like it really folds the glutes out. Um, but I did this. It just lost the definition of my glute in the photos. I was really sad about that. <laughs> but this is why you take stage photos and videos. I'm excited for that. So that you can see your own self and go, oh, that was a bad decision. You know, that wasn't a good choice. So going forward, if you're going to the next competition, you go, okay, I remember I'm not going to do that. And we're going to practice this. And I say it time and time and time and time and time again, and I reiterated that with my clients, and I did it myself. The shoes, the shoes, the shoes make so much difference. I um, borrowed my girlfriend's shoes, Zora's shoes. Um, thankfully, I was good in them, but I feel like I, you know, in hindsight, um, there were some poses that were a little bit harder to do um, versus having a flat bottom because I had a big fat platform on them and the heels were very chunky and big. They looked beautiful with the suit and I pulled it off. But in hindsight, I should have, um, rookie move, I should have really 
and try having a better pair of shoes so for next time. So these are all little snippets that you can write down uh, in your, you know, your journal of competing. If this is what you like to do in your office of following for competing stuff. So, um, but going forward for your next show or your next um, stage, you know, performance, you can go, okay, well, this is what I need to do. These are the things I work on, so this is what I do. So. Anyway, I hope that guys helped you and stay tuned. I'll see you guys next week. Thank you so much again for following, like, share, all the fun stuff. And again, leave your comments. I didn't turn the comments on in my YouTube because I didn't know how to do that. So I've done that now. So now I can actually say comment. If not, shoot me a DM on Instagram, uh, Facebook, Twitter, and all the platforms. I'm on all of them, um, whatever that may be. So have a great day, guys, and we'll see you again.